We'll turn to our area. You can see that we are getting lots of snow in the mountains. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. And I was very excited to see the latest snowfall totals. Yeah. I'm gonna show you here in just okay. a second, folks. But right now, let's get right to it. Natalie, you were looking at your, what Bogus was that, Twitter? Basin. Yeah, I was looking at the camera. Yeah. And look Bogus at this. Basin got whacked. Look at Brundage. <laughs> look at Brundage. Oh. This oh is since goodness. five o'clock yesterday, going. guys. Wow. The snowflakes are getting bigger and bigger. There's just a tremendous amount of moisture in the atmosphere and it's all moving in this direction. Now I will tell you this, snow levels will be rising tomorrow because the air is going to be getting warmer. But when you look at the latest snowpack totals, this is fantastic news. Boise Basin uh, let's see, just a few days ago was 88% of normal. We're now 92% of normal, so within, within the normal range, all of central and southern Idaho is now in the green for snowpack. The Weezer Basin is now 124% of normal. Keep in mind, more snow will be falling there over the next few days. So the next weather maker is a surge of moisture you see moving up from the south and from the uh, west. This is going to start filling in. We may catch a little bit of a break later on tonight. But tomorrow, this surge of moisture is going to be associated with a warm front. And that's what's going to be driving our temperatures up into the upper 40s for daytime highs. So it's good, but by the same token, it's not so good because the snow levels are going to go from about 4,000 feet to about 6,6500 feet, which means that some of the ski resorts could catch a rain-snow mix or maybe some rain showers at the bases tomorrow but there will be snow in the mid and upper levels of the ski resorts, and then it starts dropping again on Friday. So right now with the Doppler radar, what we're seeing is light to moderate rain here in the Treasure Valley. And there you can see the snow that's stacking up against the foothills in the mountains. So 37 degrees right now in Boise, 41 degrees in Ontario, 38 degrees in Caldwell, 31 degrees right now in McCall. And what's going to happen is this. The big surge of subtropical air continues to stream in tomorrow. Then the low pressure center that's just kind of hanging out along the west coast starts to gradually move inland. Now before it does, here's what happens. Southwesterly flow tomorrow, that's what takes our temperatures up. So warm southwesterly flow equals the warmer temperatures equals a lot of rain for the Treasure Valley and more snow for the mountains. But again, snow levels going up to on average about 6,000 feet tomorrow. Then by Friday and into the weekend, we start getting into a north flow as the low begins to move off toward the east and that's going to allow temperatures to start turning colder through the weekend. So let's see what the future cast is showing for us tomorrow. Right around uh, early morning hours, so right around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, more rain in the Treasure Valley, more snow in the mountains. Now tomorrow around the start of the morning commute, we may be dry, but look at this big surge coming in. This is the warm front that sweeps through the region as it does, it brings more valley rain and raises the snow levels. And then we'll have periods of rain on again, off again through the day tomorrow with the possibility that we might actually get into a little rain snow mix on Friday. We'll have to see how it all pans out. But high temperatures tomorrow, mid to upper 40s. We'll go with rain likely and then rain snow showers on Friday, cloudy skies on Saturday and then partly cloudy Sunday, Monday and Tuesday with what could be snow returning around the middle of next week. You folks up at the ski resorts and in the Long Valley, you're going to have more snow. But again, snow levels will be at about 6,000 feet. The base of the Long Valley, I, be, I believe, is right around 5,000 feet. So we might get a little rain up in the Long Valley, but then it changes back over to snow on Friday. And a few snow showers are possible on Saturday, and it does get drier in the mountains on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. You're laughing. It's crazy. I just put out a tweet asking if anyone wants to come in and fill in anchor for me for the next half hour. I need to do some research up at Bogus Basin mm. right now. Right now. Right now. Let's go. As a team, we I should know. just hit it. The skiing looks amazing. <laughs>